Let's thank you new this morning. Republicans are closer to tax reform this morning after a major overnight vote, a marathon session lasting until about 2 a.m. this morning. Senate Republicans mustered the votes to pass a $1.4 trillion tax overhaul. Democrats failed to delay the vote and give members a chance to read their nearly 500 page bill. CBS 4's Molalangi breaks down the latest. The Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, as amended, is passed. The biggest tax bill in 31 years cleared the Senate with only one Republican no vote, Tennessee deficit hawk Bob Corker. They know I've got fiscal concerns and, um, you know, I'm probably a dinosaur in that regard. Last minute concessions were made to satisfy a few wavering Republicans, adding in a deduction for individual property taxes capped at $10,000 and reviving the alternative minimum tax. I'm totally convinced this is a revenue neutral bill, actually a revenue producer bill that's going to get America moving again. Not a single Democrat voted for the plan. They claim most lawmakers didn't even read the final version, which contained cross outs and scribbled notes in the margins. Nobody knows what's in here, 479 pages. How can you declare which way you're going to vote on a bill that you haven't read? Democrats tried and failed to delay the vote until Monday. The motion is not agreed to. The bill's passage gets Congress one step closer to handing President Trump his first legislative victory. The bill contains the president's essential corporate tax break, which Democrats say will cost the GOP at the ballot box. My Republican friends will ultimately pay consequences for this bill in 2018 and beyond. Republicans insist their tax cuts will fuel the economy and help Americans of all income levels. Molulengi, CBS News, Capitol Hill. An amendment from Texas Senator Ted Cruz passed with a tie-breaking vote from the vice president. It expands 529 college saving accounts, include use for elementary and secondary education, including homeschool. Democrats uh, charge it undercuts public school funding. The Senate bill will still need to be reconciled with the House version before it can go to the president's desk. On Twitter, the president says he hopes to sign before Christmas.